Alrighty guys, and welcome back to another LEGO uh, set unboxing, or unbagging in this case, and um, review, or, you know, kind of review at least. Um, if you guys would like a more detailed review than what you get out of this video, just let me know in the comment section below. But, um, here is the Hulk. This is a Toys R Us poly bag. This one actually looks like it's not the normal uh, American version, because it doesn't have the name of the poly bag, like... For example, Cosmic Boy here does, but you know, it is a nice looking bag, and I decided to cut it open from the back, just because you know, it kind of saves the rest of the packaging. So let's see. No, I should probably also go back like this. You can see my fancy pink scissors. I think we can get most of this stuff out. In there. And there's the instruction book. Oh, actually, the sticker sheet in here is pretty big. I don't know about that one. Yeah, it might need to get cut a tad more. There we go. That should be funny. Oh, there goes one piece. Wow, I don't I guess it's not the end of the world with this bag to get ruined anyway. Let's get the sticker sheet out. It's you know, kind of in the way of everything. There we go. Now everything else should turn out easy. Uh huh. And the hook's head almost went flying. But... Alright, that is everything that was in that bag. And you can see when you open it up, these are the contents. There's 27 pieces, which, you know, kind of nice. Let's get this really nice sticker sheet, which is double-sided. I really like these Stark Industries stickers quite a bit. The Avengers ones are alright. And there's, you know, just some damage stickers. Uh, I'm not sure what these blue and red ones are supposed to be, but... And these, I think, are used for the actual build. I think, I think, two of the stickers we're actually going to have to use, and there's some more Stark Industries, some S.H.I.E.L.D. logos, some Avengers logos, and some Hydra logos. So those are actually pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice to get these stickers. This is actually pretty similar to what they did with the Rocket Raccoon poly bag. Uh, just cut that open, because I know we're going to need one of the stickers at least. And you obviously could leave the sticker off of the little ATV if you wanted to. I think I'll probably put it on, because it looks, looks alright. These instructions are actually pretty, you know, uh, pretty well folded, I guess I should say. It's actually kind of a struggle to unfold them, actually. You know. And then, let's put them back over here, because... Yeah. And the Hulk figure. Who do I want the one with gap in the teeth? Yeah, it sure. looks angrier. Uh, not sure if I am a big fan of this hairpiece. I wasn't a huge fan of the other one either, but um, I, I don't know how you make hair for a minifigure size Hulk. This one's this this Hulk is way more detailed than the other one. I don't currently have the other one on me because um, it was, as I said, my friend's and I borrowed it from him. So, you know. But, I might be able to borrow it from him again so that I can, you know, compare the two. Cause, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know. And I will do my best to get that old Hulk back for a couple days. And, here he is back. <laughs> and you connect the little vehicle like that. So that's how it's built up. Basically, built up for, you know, easy destruction. Uh, that's really the whole point of this vehicle in this set is so that it can be destroyed. You know. And take this. And put those two things in the front. And that little slope goes in the back. 
and this goes here and you get handles or a handlebar and ooh, no extra pieces in this set that's actually kind of surprising and I guess there aren't any really tiny pieces that you usually get extras for. I mean, the most likely, I think, in this particular set would be the uh, cheese slope. But still, it's a little bit peculiar to get a little set without any extra pieces. Unless it's obviously you know, just a single minifigure set, like most of the other. Basically, like, like for example, the old Hulk body bag, where it was just the regular Hulk. I would have been surprised to get an extra piece there. But, you know, there that is. And let's take one of these two stickers, why not? It's actually a pretty high quality sticker sheet. Kind of difficult to get the stickers off. And it does unfold like that too, so you can see all the stickers at once. And I guess, maybe it's kind of a nice thing that if you get them... Uh, I think all these are transparent back too, except for the Stark Industries ones, obviously. But you know, you can see that right there is transparent backing on it. Uh, this is gonna be tough to do on camera. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the sticker off behind the camera. You can just take a look at the Hulk. Yeah, Hulk. Uh, woo, woo, Hulk. It's a Hulk. And uh, you know, I'm starting to realize that I shouldn't have gotten this set just because it's the Hulk. <laughs> and me and a group of my friends constantly argue who the best Avenger is. The only thing we can agree on is that Hulk is the worst Avenger, except for one person who thinks Hulk is the best Avenger, and refuses to see the truth that Hawkeye is the best. And I am kind of just stalling for time. Ah, there we go. It's perfect. It's actually not no, perfect, perfect, but it's good enough. So. There's the little Hulk vehicle. You can make him, like, grab it and have it be torn apart, torn to pieces. And that's actually kind of a neat look. You can... There's probably some neat ways to display this. You got a Hulk with a broken car. And obviously you could also use the ATV. Is included as just a, you know, as really just an ATV if you wanted to. But, um, I, I feel like I should show you this. There's him holding them both, or you can ride the ATV like that. <laughs> I don't know why Hulk could ride an ATV, but if he wants to, he can. Because he can't do it when he's a big fig. So, you know, I've got some cool stickers. And a cool little figure. And all in all, I think this is a pretty good value for a $5 set. The value is obviously going up on this one a bit, because it is sold out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please return to subscribe if you did. Let me know what you think of this Hulk minifigure compared to the old one. I'll try and get you guys a video comparing the two of them in the future. But until then, this is all you're going to get. That probably wouldn't happen for a decent while, because... I would need to get the other figure from my friend first, so, you know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you did, and have a fan fantastic day. Bye, guys.